Hey guys, Max Domi here. Just wanted to explain uh, my tattoo situation I got going on here. Uh, so my right arm, uh, this sleeve's basically for my family. Um, I'll start up uh, up here, I guess. This lion's for my dad. Um, to be honest, I like lions, but I told him it was because he reminds me of a lion, not actually the case. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so his initials are there with his birthday. Um, and I actually have the lion scrape, uh, scraping into a rock. It says 333, and he has the most fights ever, and that's how many he has. So when he signs his autograph, he writes 28 and then 333. Conversation starter, but uh, he loved that. Um, so that's that. Uh, the angels for my mom, uh, the angels holding a, a cross. She raised me and my sisters as, uh, as Catholics and went to church every Sunday. Um, so that's kind of for her. Um, the rose is for my little sister Avery. Her middle name's Rose. And um, I mean, I also wanted a rose. So uh, <laughs> I kind of worked out, killed two birds with one stone. And then the back one, which is not done yet, is, uh, is a horse. Uh, my older sister, Carlin, actually grew up riding horses. That was kind of her sport or I guess I call it a hobby, expensive hobby, but uh, it's her sport. Um, so that's kind of that one. Um, and then the inside's just obviously, I mean, Jesus kind of looking over my whole family. So that's that one. Um, this one is uh, kind of more like freelance type thing, except for a couple of them. So this one is my first ever tattoo. Um, this is done in London, Ontario, and it was my first excuse to get a tattoo because my family, no one else in my family has tattoos and I always wanted sleeves. Um, and my dad's pretty strict and so is my mom. <clears throat> so I needed a good excuse. I used to have to wear a bracelet uh, that was a diabetic alert bracelet. So if anything were to happen, I mean, and um, I mean, the EMS team came, they'd see the bracelet, they know what's going on. Um, so I got that symbol kind of tattooed on my wrist and the story is actually kind of funny behind it because uh, I told my mom, I was like, oh, mom, I'm gonna get a tattoo. Like I keep losing the bracelet and I mean, obviously you guys want me to wear it, want me to be safe, so uh, I'm gonna get the a symbol tattooed. She, oh, that's a great idea. I'm like, oh, perfect. Like one down. Uh, I wasn't going to tell my dad, didn't tell my dad and went to get the tattoo um, from a friend of mine. Uh, his name's Mike in London. And um, I showed him the symbol and it was just a really small little symbol. And uh, <laughs> I was like, hey, can you get this tattooed on my forearm or on my wrist? He's like, yeah, for sure. Goes to draw it and he comes back and all of a sudden there's this huge stencil of like this thing with wings and type one diabetic written on it. I'm like, and that's kind of big and he puts it on my my arm and it takes up legit my whole forearm and that first i was like no chance and then all of a sudden i was like perfect do it <laughs> so then he did it um walked around with i mean a hoodie and my one a nice track jacket on so no one could see me like in terms of my family um and then told my mom i was like oh the guy screwed up uh i made it a lot bigger i couldn't not my fault kind of threw it all on mike and she's like oh whatever can't do anything now i can't erase it now and I was just trying to figure out how the heck can I tell my dad about this tattoo. And what I ended up doing was waiting until we played in Mississauga, which was closest to like all my family. So like my cousins, my uncles, aunts, whatever, sisters, mom, dad, grandparents, everyone was there. So there's too many people to like to say hi to. And um, the bus was parked and we usually have about 10, I mean 12, 13 minutes to uh, talk to everyone before we leave. Uh, it's a pretty like uh, firm deadline for leaving. And um, usually I would say hi to my dad first and he talked to me about the hockey game and I made it like a pretty <laughs> conscious effort to keep him for the last, uh, last person. So I saw everyone and all of a sudden I saw the guy, uh, Bobo, start pulling guys onto the bus because we had to leave. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, hey, dad, like, that great game. Like, we won, like, awesome, thanks. And as I'm walking around, I lift up my thing, like, oh, hey, by the way, I got a tattoo. <laughs> and then I just, like, looked at him, and he, like, kind of, like, froze and was in shock, and I just bolted on the bus. <laughs> and I remember looking out the window, and he's, like, looking around, he's freaking out. And then I got a call, a text right away. I was like, oh, I can't get rid of it now, man. It's for a good cause. And now, sure enough, um, he's good with it now, because the next one I got was, was for him. So um, he's laughing, he hates them, but uh, it is what it is. I'm, I'm a big tattoo guy. So sorry, that was an extended version of this one. This is kind of just a dove uh, that is actually not done yet. Um, obviously just I mean, resembles peace. Um, this top one up here, which is also pretty far from being done, but a couple more sessions this summer. Uh, it's a lighthouse. Um, that's from Port Credit. I mean, not the actual one in Port Credit, Mississauga, where I learned how to skate, played on my first hockey team there. and. I always loved that lighthouse, it was kind of symbolic for me, so I figured I'd, I'd get it tattooed on my uh, on my arm, and it looks kind of cool too. And then um, another rose, as, you, as I said earlier, I love roses, so just kind of a filler for that one. 
And then this clock here, I always wanted some sort of like old school, I mean type watch or whatever you want to call it. And it's basically pointing to the date of my first game in the NHL. Um, so everything has a reason. Oh yeah, and then these little ones here, I got a cross, a heart. I'm not married, no, it's not for a girl. Um, and this one is just a peace sign. The reason I got those three is because I had like, I mean, a bunch of 10 hour sessions. And you can sit there for 10 hours and get your whole arm blasted, but all of a sudden you look down and it's just like a small little part in 10 hours is done. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, that's all I got for that much pain? So I told the guy, Eric, um, who is the most talented person in the world, who's out in LA and kind of splits between LA and Miami. I said, man, what can we do that like takes two seconds and will remind me like, okay, like I'm always gonna be able to look at this and see it, but it only took like two minutes to do. He's like, well, we can do a finger tap. I'm like, perfect. He's like, what do you want to do? I'm like, I don't know, like a symbol or something. And it was just spur of the moment. And um, I mean, obviously pretty mainstream symbols with the cross and the heart and the, the peace sign. I just blasted them there, it took two minutes, absolutely killed. But uh, now I look back and that took me two minutes and, and this little section here of shading took 10 hours. So um, kind of how she works and, and that's all I got for now, but uh, I'm gonna keep building on it and I'll be covered eventually. Yeah.